welcome back to our channel and now let us discuss the analysis of single reinforced rectangular beam so previously we have we have seen the stress strain curve for concrete and steel so based on those values already we have all these based on those values we have written the uh, ultimate stress strain stress strain values for steel and concrete so this this is the strain diagram and this is the stress diagram This is the stress diagram and this is the strain diagram. So already we know we have seen that 0 0.0035 this value is going to represent stra ultimate strain in concrete and this is going to be the characteristic strain up to uh, means it means up to this point only the concrete curve is going to be parabolic and thereafter it is going to be linear. So this represents the parabolic strain of concrete and this is the strain in steel and for HYSD bars we are going to consider it as 0 0.002 plus 0.87 Fi by ES and this shows the stress diagram for the beam. Uh, so that is nothing but maximum stress in concrete is 0.446 FCK already we have discussed in the previous class uh, and this is the maximum strain maximum stress in steel and as per is code you can find the you can find this value 0.36 fck b into xu so this is the area of this block and this block is this block represents the area of compressive force and this is going to be maximum at a distance of 0.42 xu and all these value these two values this 0.42 and this 0.42 xu and this area all these these two things you can find in the code book itself. So when this becomes 0.42 that is nearly equal to 3 by 7 xu. It means 0.42 xu is equal to 3 by 7 xu. So the remaining part is going to be 3 by 7 xu minus xu which is equal to 4 by 7 xu. So in this way we are going to get the values of 3 by 7 xu and 4 by 7 xu. So this is this, this entire diagram defines the stress strain values for concrete and steel. And now coming to calculation of moments. Calculation of moments in both compression zone and tension zone. So moment in compression zone. So when coming to moment in compression zone, moment generally moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance. So here force is nothing but so how much force here we are having force in force into perpendicular distance. So how much force we are having in the uh, compression zone that is nothing but 0.36 fck. So this becomes the moment. So now coming to calculation of neutral axis depth. So already we have we have seen the maximum values of stress and strain in both concrete and steel. So as per those values we have written in the diagram itself. So when coming to compressive force. So what is the compressive force in compression zone? So already as per IS code compression, compression zone is going to have a force of 0.36 fck and its area is going to be b into xu. In the same way force is nothing but stress into area. So as per that formula I have written that force equal to stress into area. This is the stress block. This is the area of the stress block that is nothing but 0.36 xu and area is b into xu and ft is nothing but tension zone force in tension zone. So force is nothing but stress into area and obviously maximum stress in concrete stress in steel is 0.87 fi and its area is going to be ast. So if I want to know to if I want to calculate neutral axis depth, I have to equate both of them, both of these equations, both the equations one and two. Because neutral axis is not going to ex, is not going to experience either compression force or tensile forces. So therefore, xu is xu is nothing but to calculate xu, I have to equate both compressive force and tensile force. So for calculation of neutral axis depth, I have to equate forces in both com compression zone and tension zone. So compression zone is going to have a force in this way and tension zone. So after equating this, the, we are going to get this formula x equal to 0.87 fi into ast by 0.36 fck into b. 
So, in the same way if I am going to consider the values of x u max, x u max, x u is nothing but it is a neutral axis depth, x u is given by neutral axis depth where x u max, this represents maximum neutral axis depth. And this maximum neutral axis depth is given for, is given based on different types of steels. Already we know that we have different type of steels like FA250, 415 and 500. So, as per IS code FE250, it is going to have maximum neutral axis depth as zero point five three D. In the same way four one five, it is going to have point four eight D. And for five hundred it is going to be zero point four six D. So all these values we are going to get from neutral from IS code. So, x u max is nothing but maximum neutral axis depth. So, when x u equal to x u max, we are going to call that section as a balanced section. And if x u is x u, if x u is greater than x u max, we are going to call it as over reinforced section. And x u less than x u max, it is called as under reinforced section. It means in under reinforced section, steel fails first. And in over reinforced section, concrete is going to fail first. If steel is going to fail first, then obviously it is going to give some warning signs. Means before the structure is going to fail, some we are going to have some indications of failure, like formation of cracks or efflorescence or these these kind of things will be taking place before the failure of structure. Whereas in over reinforced uh, sections, we are not going to get any indications directly we, means the section is going to failure with sudden, means suddenly the structure is going to failure and here there will be a gradual failure and if, um, so if, if there is any formation of uh, crack in the section, then we are going to call it as a, um, call it when we are going to call it under reinforced section and also that crack is going to show that. This, uh, the system is or the system or the section is ready for failure, but these kind of situations is not uh, is not possible in case of over reinforced sections. Uh, if if you please like if you like my video, please subscribe, share. Thank you.